as we watch our Pro Stock finalists get set for their last run of the day. In Kenny Bernstein's pit area, it looked like total confusion. Is it as disorganized as it appears? Absolutely not. What you're looking at there is the ultimate in teamwork. Those guys are, every one has got a specific job to do, and they are doing it. The question remains now, can they complete their work in time to make the finals against Mike Dunn? The question here is, will there be another staging battle as there has been all day between our Pro Stock finalists? Bob Clinton in the near lane, Daryl Alderman in the far lane. Well, you know, Dave, the reason you see so many of these staging battles in Pro Stock is because they must leave at such a high RPM. So the guy that stages first, his engine is at this high RPM longer, therefore wearing the clutch more, hurting the engine. So this Daryl needs to hurt Glidden as much as he can right now. Glidden has got the advantage based on elapsed times, and it's a good start. Pulling ahead right at the finish line and winning his eighth U.S. Nationals title is Bob Glidden. Overjoyed the family of Anna Glidden, Rusty and Billy, the two sons. They worked very hard on this race car. He ran 7.43 seconds at over 188 miles an hour. And so even though Alderman lost the race, his starting line tactic worked because he did have a slight starting line advantage. Don, that advantage only lasted for a few feet, though, as the superlative horsepower of the Ford Thunderbird of Bob Glidden began to make its mark. As they neared the finish line, he pulled ahead by a car length. Well, Darrell Alderman gave it everything he had, but the Chevrolet was no match for this Thunderbird. Bob Glidden, that's eight U.S. Nationals titles. That's right, Steve. The Thunderbird was thundering today, for sure. I'll tell you. I know how I feel. Ed and the kids have got to feel great right now. Daryl did give us a good race until I feel neck to neck till half track. Uh, damn, I'm, I'm telling you. This was a little tougher race for you than it might have looked like from the grandstand. Well, yes. Uh, the prior round, we had wheel hop really bad, got crossed up, nearly hit Butch. Uh, we had no idea what was going to happen. We kind of threw the dice. We, we told Darrell we were going to take the right lane, and then, well, we decided we'd take the left lane, so I guess the boys made the right decision again. Terrific job. Congratulations. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Bob